Our culture today and our history for millennia are written in stone, clay, and the imaginative materials of today's greatest sculptors. The National Prize is for those who are most extraordinary. I was very excited when I heard that a National Prize was going to be founded. Carefully crafted prizes can do a whole lot for the field, and especially a field like sculpture. I think the National Prize will bring new interest and attention to sculpture. Prizes always have the value of focusing attention on the work of a given group of artists and causing discussion and debate. I can get to Not only an award, the National Prize takes dialogue about sculpture to the world. Why sculpture now? Everything is sculpture or nothing is sculpture. But All in terms I'm of caring sharing, about it's... is turning that empty space in front of me into something that is competing with me as a human being. July 3rd, the jurors arrive at Tate Britain. They are museum directors, curators, artists, and art historians, all experts in the field of sculpture. Lively discussion behind closed doors leads to a decision. Good evening. The first winner of the National Prize, Doris Salcedo. Doris Salcedo is the one artist that I know who has been able to simultaneously make sculptures that function on their own artistic autonomy, but at the same time function within the realm of the collective evocation of memory. My purpose when I start a piece is to make a piece for the person who has given me uh, a testimony, either a survivor or a victim whose experience I have researched. So uh, the very first movement, my very first intention is to give something to that person, give something back. Uh, Paul Celan used to say that it was like writing a letter. Writing a poem was like writing a letter. He said, Bogota, December 10th, uh, and dear, so and so. So you address, so it's always an address to someone whose experience, I think, is important for all of us, whose experience in a way has protected us. And that, that's the first step. From then on, of course, once you enter into the terrain of art, you enter into the terrain of the paradox. Everything is paradoxical. So you want to say something, but at the same time, art needs to be silent. You want to address a specific experience, but at the same time, you know it is impossible because it will be disrespectful. You, know, you need to, to keep a distance in order for that unique experience to become universal and to become, in a way, I don't know, the word useful is not good, but, but something that we can all understand and learn from. Uh, so it's always all these paradoxes. Then I want, and, and the worst paradox, which makes my work almost impossible, is that I'm always referring to violent events, knowing full well, understanding that there is no way violence can be represented in art, because uh, violent death is obscene. Therefore, it, it, it is outside the scope of art.
es una artista muy famosa porque, ha encontrado, porque ella es una persona muy exigente consigo misma. La conocí hace 40 años. <ríe> Yo cuando la vi con el pelo así, dije, esto va a ser demasiado para un museo. Entonces, ella, desde que se inició como artista, eh, cada vez cambiaba su manera de hacer la escultura. Ella no se repetía, sino iba cambiando, iba cambiando, y uno iba viendo admira, admirarla, admirarla. Yo la admiro porque tenía una voluntad de hierro de cambiar, de investigar nuevos materiales. El trabajo de Doris es bastante único. Ella se define como escultora, pero su, su mayor... Eh, lo, lo que la hace realmente especial a esa obra es la necesidad de Doris de indagar, de buscar que el material que utiliza para la escultura se comporte de una manera no natural. Es casi una metáfora de hacer posible lo imposible, es como la poría de lo humano, ¿sí? hacer la posibilidad de una imposibilidad. Remembering um, terrible, violent events is not enough. You need to understand them. I interview for years, I study for years, and when I have the feeling I have covered that field as much as possible, then I think I'm ready. Every single work of art, not just mine, is a collective enunciation. Because we all live in this world that is connected. So every human being is taking experiences from others, is learning from others. So there's never a solo voice. That's a myth. Thinking of art is like a solo genius is a myth. It's actually a very naive uh, approach to an artist activity. Um, so I recognize that openly. Uh, I do interview victims, but then it is their experience, not mine. So right there, they are participants of the work. I spend also months drawing by myself. Uh, and only when I'm, I am certain of what I'm going to do, of the shape and the material I'm going to use. Then I, I, I look for help. Only then. Once I decided uh, what to do in terms of materials and in terms of the image, once I have decided that, then I need support from architects, engineers, uh, biologists, chemists, uh, you name it, whatever the piece is requesting. And then we work as a team. I don't like the work assistant because for me, in a way, it implies that they are doing what I ordered them to do. And that's not the case. Uh, of course, I have a proposal. I make a, a proposition and they respond to that with their own creativity. Every time we start uh, the tryouts for a new work, we have to learn new processes because all the materials change all the time. Our job is to find the best way to approach that material and to make it behave. When you start a piece, uh, you start with the idea that it is uh, somehow the impossible. And, uh, She says that in order to, uh, to have creativity, you need to have somehow waste. So uh, uh, in, in, or, in order for us to be inventive and creative, uh, she allows us and brings us whatever the material is in the world or whatever we need in order to create this idea. Creo que, que digamos que como al ingresar a trabajar acá, primero tuvimos, o yo particularmente tuve como que calmar mi espíritu y lograr un, una calma que, 
que es necesaria para estar acá, pues porque estamos muchas horas del día acá en silencio y haciendo cosas que requieren de mucha concentración y que no hay posibilidad de, de hacer errores, porque como son obras que tienen un proceso muy largo, el error se va a ver al final, cuando la tienes terminada. Entonces, por ejemplo, en estas camisas, en This Remember, es un proceso, duramos cuatro meses tejiendo la camisa y solo al final, cuando está unida y perfectamente pegada y la colgamos, es que tenemos el resultado enfrente. Entonces, es algo bien, bien interesante y a la vez bien retador. So it is a dialogue. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing chess with 15 people at the, at the time. Of course I'm proposing something, but they're responding. And I open the space for the response to be part of the work. So I, as I was saying, I don't think it is exactly about simplicity, but clarity. I need the idea to go through in a, in a clear manner. Um, precisely because it condenses so many layers of experience. I like to refer to my pieces not as a sculpture but as creatures. So they all, they need all that. Daily, loving, insistent, almost compulsive, <laughs> giving to this creature. Space is another element. It's not, not, not something that comes from me. It's something that the work encounters, and I have to work with this. So it is, it is placing the works in, in, out there in the world, and the pieces reacting and being changed by the space they encounter. Each, each location forces the piece to change. The National Prize for me, it's very important because I always see it as I, not just what it means for me as a person or as an artist, but what it means for a whole community. I think, I, I, I mean, I come from a country that has been always seen as brutal, uncivilized, um, illegal, you name it, every negative um, adjectives have been used to describe Colombia and Colombians. So to be recognized as a person who can produce thought and art that is meaningful means that here, in the middle of this chaotic country and this, and this chaotic city, there is room for thinking, for meaningful thinking. That's what I think this prize is recognizing. It's something that is coming from here. It's thought that has been uh, carefully built, carefully thought, carefully constructed from here, in the, mid in the midst of chaos. And I think that is why this prize is so meaningful.